Hey guys. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you four different ways you can keep your house plants clean and pest free. I know it seems super tedious and unimportant to clean our plants, but they do gather dust and cleaning our plants is a great way to make sure that we aren't running into pest issues. And if we do end up with some pest issues, A, eradicate them and B, also spend some time really close up to our plants to like notice the issue in the first place, if that makes sense. Like just if we're looking at our plants and like passing and not getting up close and personal with them, it would be really easy to miss bugs a lot of the times. I like to use cleaning my plants as an opportunity to inspect them. So I'll be telling you about the four different methods I use to keep my houseplants pest and dust free. I hope you find this video helpful, but before we get into cleaning houseplants, huge thank you to Blue Land for making today's video possible. Over the past year or so, I've really been trying to be more sustainable. One way I've really struggled with my sustainability is my cleaning products, which is where Blue Land comes in. Unlike other cleaning products, all you need to keep your home clean are these little cleaning tablets. They're affordable, safe to use, and super convenient. Not only that, but no single use plastics are used in any aspect of Blue Land. Their cleaning products are vegan, cruelty free, without ammonia, VOC, soy, chlorine bleach, and parabens. And they're also EPA certified. Instead of paying five to six dollars per cleaning bottle, all you need is this two dollar nickel sized tablet. All you have to do is fill your bottle to the line with warm or hot water, put the tablet that corresponds with the bottle into your container. In a few minutes, the tablet will fully dissolve where then you can go ahead and screw the spray nozzle back on. Go ahead and clean your house or your hands, whatever you're cleaning. <laughs> I got the Clean Essential and Hand Soap Duo. Instead of buying the individual products, if you get the kit, you already get a 20% savings. Plus, Blue Land gave me a code to share with you. All you have to do is use my link down in the description box for 20% off your first kit. They really don't do this high of a discount, so it's a great time to try out their products. And again, that link for an additional 20% off your first kit will be down in the description box. Huge thank you to Blue Land. But let's get back into the plants. Like I said, there are four different methods I personally use in my plant cleaning routine, ranging from most frequently used to like I'll only do it maybe once a year. Really cleaning your plants doesn't have to be like a super time consuming thing. I mean, if you have as many plants as I do, it ends up being time consuming, but it really doesn't have to be. And the first way I will keep my plants clean is number one, I will wait for my plant mm -hmm. to show signs of thirst. So like the soil drying out, a little bit of drooping. And at that point, I will move whatever plants need to be watered that day into my shower and I'll actually spray them off with the shower. So I'll just lift the plants up under the water, let the shower head spray onto them to remove any dust and debris. And hopefully if there's any pests, it'll remove the pests. Once the plants are all sprayed off, I'll just leave them to drain in the shower. So we're multitasking, we're cleaning off the dust and we're also watering our plants, which is excellent in my opinion. A little twofer on that one. It's a really great way to get rid of the dust without having to go in leaf by leaf and clean each one. Really easy. These next two are kind of interchangeable. I actually, um, flip flop back and forth. I'll use these methods between like three or four times a year, just kind of depending on how my plants are looking. First thing I'll do is make a dish soap, um, essential oil and water spray. I have a full video on my channel about the mixture I use. If you wanna go watch that, I will have it up here. I'll go ahead and spray all of my plant leaves top and bottom, let it dry on, and then either, depending on if it's a plant that's really, really dirty, I'll go in with like a cloth, just like a little cleaning rag like this, and either wipe off each individual leaf, or if it's not that dirty, and I'm more so just adding a little bit of extra shine back to the plant, I will just spray it off in the shower, and I've never had an issue with the soap, like, affecting the plant's roots or anything. But if you're worried about that, you can take like a grocery bag and wrap it around the pot and soil of your plant. So the, so the soap mixture isn't actually getting into the soil. You can either wipe it off individually or spray it off in the shower. I'll be honest, I usually just spray it in the shower. Every other time I'm starting to get the feeling that my plants need like a little preventative 
cleanup or just a little leaf shine, I will go ahead and use a neem oil and water mixture. So I do actually use a neem oil concentrate, but you can also buy them pre-mixed. So I just have a neem oil bottle. I will go ahead and spray all the leaves, again, top and bottom, coat them really well. I will also say you should wear gloves when using neem oil. So yeah, be sure you're wearing gloves. And also the top of the soil so that any buggies on the top of the soil will eat the neem oil and die. And I personally actually let the neem oil dry onto the leaves. I do think that that's kind of an unpopular thing to do. I. I don't know, I've never had an issue with my plants like discoloring or having a problem. The reason I leave it on is for neem oil to work, bugs actually have to consume it. It doesn't like just kill them, like say diatomaceous earth. It doesn't just shred their body up like diatomaceous earth does or you know things like that, but they actually have to consume it. And then at that point they will die within a few days. So if you're just spraying your plant with the neem oil, and then rinsing off or wiping off the plant, chances are the bugs aren't going to die. So that's why I do it this way, but it does give the leaves a really good shine. Alternatively, if you, if you don't wanna just leave so much neem oil on the leaves like I do, you can again go in with a little cleaning cloth, spray the leaves or spray it directly onto your cloth and then wipe down the leaves or you know, spray it on, let it dry for a few days, and then go ahead and rinse your plants off in the shower, just as you would the dish soap mixture. I hope, I hope that made sense. Um, if you have questions or need something clarified because I have a hard time with words, <laughs> leave it down in the comments. I will do my best to answer any questions down there. That's kind of my three to four times yearly thing I do to prevent pests and also keep my plant leaves nice and polished and also just a little bit of a deeper clean if I'm noticing a thick, thick layer of dust, which sometimes does happen. <laughs> um, okay, on to number four. This last one is the method I use the very least. And again, I have a full dedicated video on this. It is called how to remove hard water spots from plants. I'll have it up here if you want to watch that. I'll make a plant cleaning playlist actually and have everything in the playlist. So check that out if you want to listen to me speak more about cleaning plants, but it is the method I use the absolute least. And actually I don't even have an example of it for this video, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately, but fortunately for myself, because <laughs> my plants are pretty clean, but it is the method I use to clean hard water spots off of plants. Usually I need to use this more for like um, succulent type plants. So my Hoyas are the ones that tend to show hard water spots more. And this may not even be an issue everybody faces. Where I live here in Utah, we have super hard minerally water. Yeah, they don't filter it like out of our taps for us or whatever. I don't know, is that a thing other places? It leaves like rings if water dries onto the leaves. And I do just use tap water for my plants. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but yeah, I don't give them like fancy filtered water or anything. The little white rings that the hard water leaves is really actually pretty difficult to remove. So what I have found that works really well is actually lemon juice and water. And I'll just do like a half and half mix, um, actually a little bit more water than lemon juice, but I'll spray that onto the plant leaves or wipe it onto the plant leaves um, so that it's pretty saturated and like pretty soaking with it. And I will let it absorb onto the plant for a little while so that the acidity of the lemon can break down and work hard against those white rings. And then I'll go ahead and wipe it off, spray it off, or use a neem oil or dish soap mixture to spray the plant and give it like a little bit more of a thorough clean and then rinse it off under the shower. And that works really well to get rid of hard water spots. Like I said, I haven't really been experiencing too much of the hard water spots. So this is one that I only have to use like maybe a couple times a year if that even, and just kind of as I notice a plant having these hard spot or hard water spots, I'll go ahead and like do this. Really easy, awesome way to get rid of those harder to get rid of plant markings. I hope that was helpful. So yeah, those are the four different um, like cleaning methods I use to keep my house plants clean and shiny and pest free for the most part, very preventative, cleaning our plants, 
really does erase a lot of the pest issues, I think. I think that's the biggest thing we can do to handle pests and keep them under control. So yeah, if you have any other plant cleaning tips, questions or tricks or whatever, please leave a comment down below. It not only really helps my channel, but it also, it's also very helpful for myself as well as I'm sure others to have additional information from like a whole variety of people and experiences. So yes, please leave those comments. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Woke the baby up from his nap. I'm so mad at me. <laughs>